What you working on, man? Oh, it's March. March Madness. I got my bracket here I'm filling out. What are you doing? Well, I got a bracket, too. Who do you got going to the Final Four? Final Four? Yeah, you know, March Madness. Basketball. Oh, no, no, no. I'm trying to decide what I want to drink more. The 2018 KBS or the 2019? Holy cow. That's a lot better than my bracket. Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right, everyone, welcome back to 21090. Yeah, it's March. Oh. And of course, we just got done celebrating St. Patrick's Day, March Madness, the NCAA tournament. That's a big deal. Spring train, the boys are playing baseball again. Yeah. So what better way to celebrate oh. the beginning of spring than with a good old fashioned bourbon barrel aged beer. Oh, yeah. And so welcome to our edition of the 2019 versus 2018 KBS oh, Vertical wait. Tasting. Now you know that this has a very special place in our hearts because uh, we, we launched that oh, yeah. Bourbon County Stout series. Um, in November. November. Oh, it was awesome. We got amazing. to try a bunch of different varieties. Uh, we're looking forward to 2019, so we need something to hold us over until that happens again. Six months away. Uh, and this is not a bad place to go. So, that being said, let's get into these beers. Yeah, so have you ever had KBS? You know, funny thing is, I've had KBS one time, and yep. I'd be lying to you if I said... <laughs> you can remember... I can remember exactly what it tasted like. Yeah. I, I had it last year. I, I really loved it, but I don't remember if I loved it as much as Bourbon County Stout. So I'm really interested to see how it plays 19 versus 18, yep. and, and we can compare it back to sure. what we think is the king of Bourbon County. Well, and you know, this has been called like the best beer in the world. I mean, that is one, one of, of those things, so. It's certainly um, good. Uh, no of course, about you can it. give a moniker or anything, but that, you know. Yeah. So it, you, it, even to get in that league, it's gotta be pretty good, right? And, and at 21090, we don't always just do things regularly. We're, we're of course kicking it up a little bit here. Mm -hmm. We have the 18 that we've sold for a whole year, and we're gonna compare it to the 19, which we just bought, just came out this past weekend, so it's very fresh. If you see it out there, make sure you grab it. We're going to get into it. So now, uh, a cool thing about KBS, this started, a lot of you know their Breakfast Out, which is a very famous beer that they did. Mm -hmm. 2002 rolls around, and they decided to age these in mm. bourbon barrels. Good decision. So <laughs> they actually called Jack Daniels oh. uh, and said, hey, we've got this crazy idea. We're going to throw this in some bourbon barrels and see what, what comes about of it. And Jack yeah. Daniels said, come get them. They're, they're yours. So they did the original Breakfast Out recipe. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, and they found that when they tasted the beers, it was too much of a bourbon presence. The, the recipe needed to be beefed up a little bit, hence they made it the imperial version, which uh, oh, don't... You can never have too much bourbon. The, okay, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we remember that 2016. There you of, go, uh, there you go. Bourbon guy said, yes, you can. <laughs> um, but, so, I think the originals were Jack Daniels yeah. barrels. Now I think they've moved on to Heaven Hills, okay. uh, which is a distillery that has all kinds of great bourbons from Evan Williams to Elijah Craig to Larson. There's a, there's a, yep. They have a huge line. Um, but they age these guys in the bourbon barrels, nice. and beautiful. from it comes Something beautiful. what we got here. So, uh, where do you want to start, 19 or 18? I man? think we should start with 19. I think that's the one that just came out. Let's get the baseline with what they have this year. I know each year is different. There's slight variants each year, mm -hmm. but... Um, let's start with what's with out right now yep. and, and get into it. So we got the 19s in the middle. The, t the bookends are going to be the 18s. Yep. Uh, you said this came in at uh, what? A little what over 12%, little I believe. 12%. Yep. So it, it is a big boy. Um, Ooh, it smells yeah, nice. Yeah, 12.2%. So really nice. Now, again, being a takeoff of the breakfast yeah. stout, you can smell that yep. coffee right up front. I, that's what I smell mm -hmm. is coffee. And it, it, I hate to compare it always to Bourbon County Stout, um, but when you smell Bourbon County Stout, what's the first thing you smell? You smell the bourbon. Yeah, here that's not so so pronounced. I don't think you can no, smell it. No, but that uh, coffee is the first the thing. Coffee is a little bit more pronounced, which actually mm. I, I kind of think is yeah, cool. I, that's I, a I, great smell. Just absolutely gorgeous smell. And then of course, yeah, a little, little chocolate notes. You get a little roasty notes on the nose here. Yeah. But that and look at the legs on that thing. Oh man, I mean, and just, I'm excited, man. Look at I'm excited. Shall shall we dive in here, man? Cheers, buddy. This is gonna All be right. a treat. Oh, that's really good. How good is that? So, I'm going to dive in for one more. Hold on. It's really, really smooth. Mm. Um, we had we had talked about the Bourbon County, how sometimes 
uh, it was funny, we disagreed completely about the 18 and the 17, yes. where I said the viscosity yep. was better on the 17, you said it was better on the 18. This thing stays and dances on the tongue for a while. It does, but here's what I love about this, and it's certainly a different beer than Bourbon County Stout. Mm -hmm. I'm getting way more coffee notes. We said mm -hmm. we heard, had it in the, in, the, in the aroma. I'm getting the, the, that, that coffee roastiness also. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a little bit of chocolate too. Yep, absolutely. I'm not getting the overwhelming uh, bourbon and vanilla I get in Bourbon County Stout mm -hmm. base. Um, it's a certainly different beer. It's a fa I love this. This is really so good. So do I. It's funny. So people are always going to be torn. And I think we talked to Bourbon County um, Stout fans and now KBS yeah. fans. Some people are like, I want more bourbon. I want more bourbon. True. Okay. Now, if I'm going for uh, uh, a beer that is going to be a, a nice, well-balanced, well-rounded beer, mm -hmm. I want other flavors to be there. If mm -hmm. I want bourbon, I'll have a mm -hmm. little neat a sip of, uh, of bourbon. And to me, that's bourbon, right? Mm -hmm. This, I want a beer to taste like a beer too. Fantastic. And this is really incredibly well balanced. Um, but we also found out from, you know, the BCS that aging does wonders to some of these beers and they do hold up. At yes. least some of them do. Yes. Um, so I say we, uh, we transfer now to that. Let's well, do let's it. Have one more sip of the 19, huh? but let's transfer good. the 18, yeah? All right, up next. All right. All right, we are back now for the 18. We love this 19. Really, really great beer. I am very beer. interested to see how the 18 compares to the 19, how different the, the aroma, the flavor. I know it's a different vintage, but I'm really interested to see how they, ch how they change yeah. or are differ. So let's get into it. Yeah, let's get a nose on this. So it looked the same, so that's no, no doubt mm -hmm. about it, but the nose on it, what do you saw? Ooh, so I'm, it's different smell. I get a lot more chocolate notes up front. Yeah, exactly, go back, that's a good idea. So I think I think right? off the bat the coffee is more pronounced than the 19. Definitely. And some of the reading that I did, uh, there have been others who have gone back any even deeper in their catalog, okay. and they say one of the things that dissipates quickest is the coffee notes that comes through. So That's that would make sense see. because right here we can tell that this is really so. If you want that big bold coffee flavor, yeah, you're going to want to jump in. Well, well, still we haven't tasted, but no, we uh, have. As far the as everyone knows. Right now, it's already telling me that there's going to be some other flavors now that are starting to kind of... So I got chocolate. Bit. you get anything else? Bourbon coming through a little bit more? There's... there's what is still that? not a heavy pronounced bourbon smell. No, I um, think it's a sweetness. I don't know if it's... I think it's chocolate. It, it, it might be a little bit of a chocolate note. Almost like a... Almost like almost a dark fruit. Kind yeah. Of I'm going to say that too. Yes. No, which, like which a cherry thing? or something mm -hmm. like that. So let's so, get into it. Cheers. Right, cheers, man. 2018 KBS. So, hmm. yeah, that is interesting. Um, it tastes boozier to me a little bit. Oh, I don't think so. No? The finish on it? No, I, I don't. No? Um, hmm. Mm -mm. I don't get as much um, coffee. There's the, the, the smell is so, the same. No, the coffee I mean, is not there no. compared to... The 19. Maybe a little bit more bourbon? But um, maybe a touch on the bourbon. I, I, I don't... I get a little more The bourbon's just, to me, not nearly as pronounced as the BCS. So I'm going to oh, say no, it off the bat. Not yeah. even, not even 100% agree with that on both um, of these. Which is funny because I think they both use the same barrels. From, yeah. from what I've understood, sure. I know that uh, the Elijah Craig barrels for, for Bourbon County. Yes. Um, and that's the hmm. same distillery. Let's go one more in here. But this, to me, um, mm. it's it's... I don't know if this is the right word. It's it's softer than this. I'll get you with that. Um, but I, the finish on this, I'm on my tongue where I got more of the coffee flavor. Maybe it's because I don't have the coffee laying on my tongue like I did on the 19. On the 18, I'm getting more of an alcohol presence. And I don't know if it's because the coffee is, is gone now and it's bourbon and chocolate well, to me. It's still, I, mean, I like it. I love it. Good bourbon, you want to get touch of that burn and go. then it melts that's what happens that's, that's what happens so that to me is saying yes we do have a little bit more of that bourbon yeah. presence yeah at least coming through here okay um and that some of the other notes have settled down but it still feels very balanced which which oh, i like about yeah. this let's rate them so okay. what you like better go ahead man i 100 percent like the 19 better i love the fact that you get that coffee in the in the uh in the aroma and then it's also in the in the uh, taste and it's, it's mixed well with chocolate and a little bit of bourbon underneath. So I think this is a beautiful beer. Yeah. I really do. Um, as funny as it sounds though, I think I prefer the 18. Unbelievable. And we what, just what, don't we, agree on bourbon barrel aged well, beers. we don't agree on aging. I think yeah, you maybe. like new and maybe. kind of all those flavors know. popping together, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I be. like when things settle and round out a little bit to see what So you like the 18 about. better than the 19? And what's the reason for that? 
Well, because I feel like I'm tasting more... It, it feels like a fuller beer to okay. me. Okay. This, to okay. me... And I'll go back in again. But... Good. This is much sweeter. Yeah. There's... that. Well... There's definitely more sweeter. of a coffee presence. Oh, yes. I think there's definitely more of a Maybe. sweetness I think it's to more... this, too. This, to me, just is a little more, I think, rounded out. It's a little bit more balanced. Well, the coffee I certainly... Get, I thought for sure, because you love coffee, that this, coffee. you would like the 19 better. Coffee. But also, if you think about the coffee that I drink, I drink black coffee. That's true. I don't like sweetness as that much. That is like, true. I wouldn't put a Very good point. ounce of sugar Very or milk point. or anything in there. Well, there you to go. To me, you know, I like something that's good. I got a... I got more of a cigar palate, I guess, right, which so is what I've been told. Andy, we don't but agree. You mm, love the 18. I do. You love the 19 as well, but I you would take... Too. Yeah, but I'm we, the opposite. We both agree. Awesome, oh. awesome beers. So if you have uh, the opportunity to pick them up... Tell us. Yeah. So if you are in uh, favor of the 18, kind of that, that camp, let us know. If you're a 19 person, like my friend Todd here, <laughs> uh, let amazing. us know. They're both great. But I'd love to hear like the yes. differences that make you pick one over the other because, again, this is all opinion. Yeah. But um, in our collective opinion, both wonderful beers. Let us know below. But what, yeah, comment. What do you like better? Here's another side note. Mm -hmm. BCS, KBS, what would you rather have? I feel like they're very different beers. And, they are. You know, so let's put the varieties aside, the different variants. Yes, that just come. the base, okay. the base, the base. I think a fun, which maybe we should think about doing, would be pulling out a, uh, Ooh, a BCS a 18 yes. uh, versus an I 18 of the... I love um, it. KBS 1919. Yeah. Because um, I, I think they're, I think they're surprisingly I think distinctly different. It's good now, idea. of course, the coffee presence, of course. Sure. Yeah. That that it, it's going to be different. I'd have to. Yeah. I think that's a good, but, I'm going to hold judgment until we mm -hmm. do that because I, it's it's tough. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed this 19. And the funny thing is, we tried that the, the barley wine coffee yeah. this year, but just such a different style of beer, yeah. it's hard to compare. I would like to compare a coffee stout from BCS to maybe a K, think, KBS and see what that came up like but hey i think this is fun yes awesome. um it's just one more reason to enjoy the onset of spring ah soon so we'll have uh, warm weather and it's ipas it's coming, it's coming right before the orioles won the world series <laughs> <laughs> well we know you're dreaming there <laughs> so as always if you like what you see from 21090 please, please hit that subscribe button click that little bell in the corner it's going to let you know every time that we've got a new video coming up We've got Instagram, we've got Twitter, and we are on Untapped, so we can rate all these wonderful beers that we have been uh, reviewing yep. for you. But please, comment below, let us know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching, and cheers. Cheers, guys. Mm. We disagree again, mm -hmm. my friend. It's all good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Perfect. Boom.